Okay, so in this video, we're going to be talking about the areas of a segment of a circle. So by segment, I just mean this little region here. So it's kind of, we take a sector and then we remove this triangle and we just get this little kind of uh, edge of a circle. And sometimes this is called the minor segment because it's a smaller one of the two. So we have this segment and we've also got this really big one, but we're usually just interested in finding this area here. So this is going to be uh, the topic of this video. So I'm just going to write A for the area. And this is going to be, I'll just draw it in shapes. It's going to be the area of the uh, sector, this shape. And we're going to subtract the area of this triangle. And what we're left over with is just a segment. So we have formulas for these. If you remember from previous videos, this is half times theta times r squared. When we're using radians, this is really important. Theta is in radians. And then we also have a, f a formula for the area of a triangle given, oh, this is minus here, given just the angle and two of its sides. So this is also r, it's the radius. And the formula comes out to be a half times r squared times sine of the angle, sine of theta. And then we can actually simplify this a bit because they both have a half and r squared. And then the formula comes out to be a half times r squared times theta minus sine of theta. So this is the formula for the area of a segment. Now, I wouldn't advise you to memorize this. What I think is more important is just to understand how you'd get to this formula. If you remember the formulas for the area of a sector and the area of a triangle, then you can always derive this. So it's not too important that you memorize this, but just that you know how to get here. So now let's look at a few examples just to get an idea of how this works. So let's start off with a simple example. Um, we're gonna say the angle is 90 degrees and also the radius is three centimeters. So if we just think about this diagram, what is gonna be the area of the segment? Now, what we've gotta be careful about is we said that this formula only works when we're in radians. So first off, we need to convert 90 degrees into radians. And if you remember, this is like a quarter of a circle. So it's gonna be two pi divided by four. And this is just the same as pi over two radians. So now we can just plug these in to this formula. And so the area is gonna be a half, times r squared, which is three squared, which is nine, and then times theta in radians, so pi over two minus sine of pi over two. And then it's really useful to remember that sine of pi over two, or sine of 90 degrees, this is actually equal to one, because it's when this, uh, this graph peaks. So this is what sine looks like, and pi over two, or 90 degrees, is when sine equals one. So this quantity equals one, we can simplify a bit, so 9 over 2 times pi over 2 minus 1. And if we want, we can just expand this out to get 9 pi over 4 minus 9 over 2. And if you want, you can put this into a calculator, and this comes out to be roughly 2.57 uh, centimeters squared because we're working in terms of areas. So this is the area of a segment. Okay, so I've got one more problem. It's going to be a bit trickier, and we need to use lots of different formulas. So I'm just going to wipe this off, and then we'll look at that. Okay, so now we're gonna look at a harder problem using segments. So I'm just gonna sketch out the diagram. I'm gonna sketch out a circle, and then we're interested in this shape. So I'm gonna cut out a sector, and then draw this vertical line between these two points. So this is the segment, and the question is to work out the area of the segment. We're gonna be given some information, but I'm gonna call this A2, because I'm gonna call this area A1. And now if I write on some symbols, R, uh, theta and R, now for this question, we're gonna be given some value. So we're gonna be given that the angle is 1.6 radians, and also the area A1, the area of a triangle, is gonna be 5.2 centimeters squared. Now from this, we need to work out the area of A2. So instead of using the really horrible formula from before, we're just gonna think of in terms of areas of triangles and sectors, because I think this is a bit easier. Um, so to work out A2, we actually need to work out what the radius is first. And to do that, we can use the area of A1. So remember that the area of a triangle, so for A1, this is a half times the radius squared times sine of the angle, theta. And we know what theta is, it's just 1.6. So we can just put this in, sine of 1.6 radians. And then since we know what A1 is, we can just rearrange for R or R squared. So R squared is gonna be 5.2 times two divided by sine of 1.6 radians. And if you put that into a calculator, this is roughly 10.4, 
And so if we take the square root of that, the radius is going to come out to be about 3.2 centimeters. So now that we have the radius and the angle, we can actually work out what A2 is. And the way we're going to do this is kind of similar to the formula we saw, is we're going to work out the area of the sector and subtract off the area of the triangle. But we know what A1 is already, so this is going to be quite nice. So for the area of a sector, this whole region here, um, it's going to be, so it's going to be A1 plus A2, um, but it's going to be a half, if you remember the formula, it's half times uh, the angle, which is theta, times r squared. So that's the area of a sector. And to get to a2, we just need to subtract off a1. So I just write minus a1, since we know what this is. And then we know what theta and we know what r is. We can just plug that in. We get a half times 1.6 times r squared. We actually know what r squared is. It's 10.4, roughly. So I'll just write that up here. And then we need to subtract off a1, so minus 5.2. And if you want to put this all into a calculator, this is going to come out as roughly 3.12 centimeters squared. So this is the area of this segment right here.